Hello, this is Randy Sutton, founder of The Wounded Blue. In honor of National Police Week, there are a few words I would like to say to you, the American people. On May 7th, 2023, Chicago police officer Ariana Preston was targeted and brutally murdered by four gang members in the front yard of her home. On February 11th, 2024, Las Cruces patrol officer Jonah Hernandez was responding to a trespass call when he was attacked and stabbed to death by the suspect. On April 21st, Ada County Deputy Sheriff Tobin Bolter was shot to death on a traffic stop. While each of these officers came from completely different ethnic and social backgrounds, it was not their differences that matter. It was what they all shared, the deep commitment to serve their communities behind the badge of an American peace officer. This is a message to America from those who serve and protect. We will never stand down and we will never surrender our values of duty, honor, and service. The last few years have seen the most difficult challenges to face the American law enforcement community in recent history. The war on cops is very real. It's not just a war of physical violence, although the attacks on our police have seen more than 60,000 officers physically assaulted each year for the last several years. It's a war for the very soul of American policing. It's a war meant to divide us as a nation and to paint all of those who serve with the brush of racism, excessive force, misconduct, and abuse of power. And it is a war that this nation must never lose, for the results would be devastating to this country that we love. Make no mistake, there are powerful forces at work, for to destroy policing as we know it is to destroy the very fabric of a nation built upon the most noble document in modern history, the Constitution of the United States of America. But as I stand here before you, I make you this solemn promise. The American law enforcement community will never abandon you or the mission we have solemnly sworn to embrace, to protect, and defend the people of this nation with no thought to their race, their religion, their politics, or their social standing, even at the risk of their own lives and physical or emotional safety. The proof of this commitment will be demonstrated for all to see during National Police Week beginning May 12th. You see, a monument stands as a silent sentinel along a tree-lined pathway deep in the metropolis of Washington, D.C. Driving by you might not notice it. It is rather unobtrusive. Dark granite walls facing each other, divided by walkways and covered by a canopy of beautiful green leaves during the spring, when the hundreds of names representing fallen heroes who have given their lives for their communities the previous year will soon be unveiled. This is the National Law Enforcement Memorial, and carved on its face are the names of every law enforcement officer in the history of our nation who died in the line of duty. In the middle of May, during National Police Week, tens of thousands of people will descend upon Washington, D.C. to visit this somber place. Wives, husbands, children, and other loved ones of these fallen heroes, as well as thousands of uniformed police officers, will spend time here. Some will stand silently and stare at the name of the man or woman they loved, memories flooding their hearts. Others will kneel with their heads bowed, weeping silently, the tears falling from their cheeks, joining the tear-stained concrete where thousands have knelt for decades, filled with the sorrow of loss. It's not uncommon to see a silent, solitary officer standing at attention in full uniform, staring at the name of their fallen partner, raising their hand in slow salute, cheeks glistening from tears. They seem lost in the memories, and as they lower their salute and move forward to gingerly touch the name of their partner with their fingertips in silent goodbye, it's hard to tear your eyes away. I have not 
only visited this hallowed ground for decades myself, but have touched the names of comrades and friends engraved there. And this is why I bring you this message of resolve, secure in my belief that our nation's law enforcement officers will never waver from their duty to serve and protect you, the people of this nation. And to those who have vowed to dismantle and destroy the proud profession of the American police officer, I say this, you have already failed. You have failed because you will never understand that which drives those who serve behind the badge. Commitment, honor, duty, and love of country. May God bless you. May God bless those who serve. And may God bless America.